All right, in this video, we're going to be learning how to create an animated GIF inside of Photoshop. And we're going to do the animation frame by frame and use a few of the tools that are built in to Adobe Photoshop. Now, the GIF file format is one of the file formats that is able to be animated by default on the web. You don't need to have a special plugin or player. It just automatically animates. The ping and the JPEGs don't do that. So the animated GIF is sort of an old file format that's been used for animation forever. Uh, these days, a lot of people put little GIFs and memes and cinnamon message apps and whatnot. So this will show you how you can create those. Now, it's a pretty simple process, and there's two ways to do this inside of Adobe Photoshop. First, we need to come up to the window and head down to the Timeline option here. In previous versions of Photoshop, that was called the Animation. But they've renamed it. Now, you'll probably notice there's a little option here that says Create Video Timeline. You want to click the little drop down and select Create Frame by Frame Animation. Those are the two types. If you accidentally created a video or and you need to switch back, there's a little hotkey down here in the bottom left. This little icon right here will switch between the video timeline, which looks like this, which follows the traditional Premiere or video editing software with a playhead and keyframes. And we're going to use the more simple frame by frame animation. So if you have a video, you can again select this option down here in the bottom left and that will switch you back to the frame by frame animation. So make sure you have just a single frame option here and you sh your screen should look like mine. Now just a quick setup on my document here. So I've just got, I don't know, six or seven layers here. I've got a base layer that's just blue. I have these three text layers and I have these three check boxes. Now this is just a really simple animation, kind of silly, but seems like I'm always looking for my wallet, my phone and my keys whenever I leave. So I'm just gonna do a really simple animation to illustrate what you can and can't do inside of Photoshop. Now a frame by frame animation uh, is pretty easily done and we use these little tools down here in the bottom left inside of Photoshop. And the basis is that it's based off of the visibility of the layers. And there are three things that we can animate and uh, we'll look at those here in a minute, but they are the opacity, they are layer styles and their visibility and position of a layer. So what I want to do by default, I'm gonna turn off all of my layers except my background layer and I'm gonna set my time instead of five seconds I don't want this frame to sit here for five seconds so I'm just gonna say no delay so it's at zero seconds okay so I'm gonna select that first frame there you can see it has a little number one I'm gonna click the new uh, duplicate frame button so it's gonna duplicate the previous one so now I have two frames frames one and frames two and they're both blank and to do these frame by frame animations, we're gonna do it by hand first, and then I'll show you another method where we can automatically have Photoshop do some animation for us. So on frame two here, I'm going to turn on my wallet layer. And you can see from the thumbnail down here, frame one and frame two are different. So now I'm gonna duplicate that again. And then on the third frame, I'm gonna turn on the shape that's over the top of the wallet. Okay, then I'll duplicate that frame and I'll turn on my phone layer. Then I'll duplicate that frame again. Then I'll turn on the shape over the top of the phone. Then I'll duplicate that again. I'll turn on my keys layer. I'll duplicate that frame again, and then I'll turn on my shape over the top of the keys. And this is a seven frame animation. And once you have those frames, we can just click the play button here to watch this animation play through. So it's gonna say wallet check, phone check, keys check. And you can see that happens really, really fast. So what I'd probably want to do is I can select the first frame, hold down shift and select the last frame so they're all highlighted. I'm gonna change the duration to maybe 0.5 seconds. So each frame will sit on the screen for 0.5 seconds before it moves to the next frame. And let's go ahead and hit play and check it out now. So wallet, check, phone, check, keys, check. And that's the simple animation. And that's the basis of a basic frame by frame animation. You just manually duplicate the frames and manually change the layers and that will get you your simple animation. In the next video, we're gonna look at setting up tweens and how we can do some motion and movement.